What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video we have uh, another Kizuna Clash and I did tell you guys that I was going to be bringing you guys another Kizuna video because I wasn't completely happy with the teams that I showcased in my video uh, when it initially came out but this video is going to talk about two separate teams and they both are fulfilling the same purpose of being able to clear all of the difficulties with one single team and with no changes amongst the way now there are two separate variations and this one you're seeing here first is the one that i'm not that happy with because it does have the potential to fail the team that you guys will see in the second half of the video is definitely what i would suggest but if you have these applicable units they work perfectly fine you just have to be very cautious on this particular stage here versus sicilian because you do need to hit those goods in order to actually get rid of the special lock that's in inflicted to our team and you see in this instance here I unfortunately didn't get a good with my Bon Clay which means that we can't use his special on that final boss stage also meaning we can't use his super type special which is pretty important so if you are using this team be very very careful when you're up against this particular variation however this team against the other variations is very easy and very calm nothing you really have to worry about there it's mainly just that Sicilian fight on the quick variation of Chopper that you really have to pay attention to and it is so crazy the fact that you have access to a character such as Bon Clay uh, because Bon Clay it's just funnily enough that he is a treasure map legend because he's actually perfect for Kizuna in so many different situations the good thing about Bon Clay is is you know obviously we already know what he does in the fact that he can change his color and his class to fit basically any situation and also the fact that he can give your crew 1500 base attack boost which is very good in Kizuna base attack boost is a, just a nice addition to have and of course, we're being able to provide a full board of matching slots. He's just a really good character. But the other good thing about him is the fact that he has the limit break ability of cooldown reduction. This means that you can actually use Bon Clay in every single Kizuna fight moving forward. And he's always going to be ready when you need him on the final boss stage, so long as there's no crazy special reverse mechanics, right? So that's amazing. The fact that you can basically use this character in any Kizuna fight and it's going to work perfectly. And just kind of ironic that it's a treasure map legend instead of a Kizuna legend. Another thing that's kind of crazy to think about is this strength rare recruit Sengoku that I'm using on the team, which is also from a previous Kizuna Clash Sugo Fest. His special ability removes bind, attack down, and I think it's also special bind by six turns. So he literally fulfills a lot of the roles that the other Kizuna rare recruits that are used for this Kizuna just does it by himself right uh the only real problem with this sengoku character is that he doesn't actually remove special bind with his crewmate effect so you really have to use him in a, 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 in the right situation to actually get the most out of him um luckily for us we don't actually really need to remove the special bind it's more of just using his special ability to get around that bind that gets inflicted on one of those variations of chopper um, because it ends up being six turns of bind and six turns of attack down after everything's said and done after level 30 it's just a pain so having a character that you can use uh, on other Kizuna clashes like the Sengoku is going to be good. Uh, Praline is also very good as well because post level 30, you'll have to deal with the enemy getting additional buffs. And all of them have an additional buff of giving themselves uh, an increased defense or a percent damage reduction or a damage threshold. And it's all by five turns on each of the variations. So having a character that can remove all of them is good. Characters like Usohachi, characters like Praline, Bobbin... All of those types of units are going to be nice here. Uh, I just decided to use Praline because she does actually get the cooldown on every single one of these fights. If you use a character like Usohachi or Robin or Bobbin, actually, I think Bobbin... I think Bobbin actually does get the cooldown on every single variation, so you can actually use him, technically, instead of Praline. If you want to go down that route, I just decided to use Praline just because it worked okay. You can definitely run that if you definitely want to. Um, also, make sure to check the supports if you do opt to use these teams, because some of them may be important. Specifically, this team, the supports are important. If I remember correctly, the supports in the second half of the video's teams are not that important, but... I would personally advise if you have the applicable characters, definitely use the team that is in the second half of this video, and we're going to discuss that when we move over to that. Um, it just, it's no problem, no worries whatsoever, gets through every single variation without too much of a hassle. So, anyways, I'll leave you guys with the rest of this clip, and we'll pick things up in the second half of the video. Yeah. 
Moving on now to the second half of the video where we have a, a definitely a better team. This team is able to get around every single variation of this fight without any issues, without any RNG playing a part. Um, and the reason for it is, is because we're using Robin and Jinbei this time around. And they have a crewmate effect that can resist special reverse and also have a special ability that gives all of our characters minus two cooldown. There are a couple of characters you can use in order to get that cooldown characters like Arlong Crew, for example. Um, I mean, this character, Robin and Jinbei, Dog and Cat from the recent Sugo Fest also work very, very well. But of course, you know, Dog and Cat are very difficult to get a hold of and Rob and Jinbei work very well because we can use their special later on on one of the other variations to get rid of the damage threshold that gets applied on the final boss stage. Because we don't need Robin and Jinbei for the final boss stage, we can use them here and even though yeah it's nice to use them on the final boss stage for a base attack boost, it doesn't matter because Bon Clay already provides a base attack boost and it's an even more significant base attack boost than what Robin and Jinbei can already provide. So it actually works very well. You can use them here to get all of your cooldowns. Shirohoshi Man Shiri are one of the best units for this Kizuna Clash because all of their specials deal with the stage 2 mini bosses perfectly in terms of getting you matching slots, getting rid of despair, getting rid of paralysis, and also providing a chain boost to your team. Just absolutely amazing special ability to be using in this quest to ensure that you can get around all those debuffs on those pesky mini boss fights. Now we did just briefly mention it, but the fact that after level 30, there's going to be a bunch of different defensive effects that will occur. In this variation here, you can see the enemy does have Rainbow Shield, and luckily we have a character like Vivi and Rebecca, because their special ability is going to give a color affinity boost to Striker and Cerebral characters. So as long as we switch the Bon Clay into a Cerebral unit, he's going to get the color affinity, which is perfect. And then of course, the Milky, as our friend captain, is also a Cerebral unit, so they'll get the color affinity from Vivi and Rebecca as well, and also all of the stat boosts for being a boosted unit in this actual Kizuna Clash, which also makes a huge difference but also they remove the blue shield and rainbow shield completely so uh, any, those two defensive effects in particular you can just use vivi rebecca to remove them and then that one stage that has threshold we don't need to use the robin and jimbei special on stage two so we can save it for that final boss fight and then use their special there to get rid of those uh threshold damage reduction on that boss so it just works perfectly right and i mean we can't go throughout the video without talking about toki uh toki i mean she's basically like cheat code in this kizuna and basically just any Kizuna, right? Like, Bon Clay and Toki together, such a good combination because, like, Toki just provides the boost that you need in order to win, and then you have Bon Clay, of course, providing the full board of slots. Unless if the enemy in a certain Kizuna just makes recovery slots non-beneficial to your team, then you will have to find a way around that. But in a lot of situations, you can just use Toki and uh, Bon Clay and a combination of utility-based units or boosters, and it works very, very well. I'm actually recording this video on the 24th of February, so we actually just got the information today on the Odin and the Kinemon and Denjiro characters, and I mean, Toki's going to be even better moving forward now that we have access to V2 Odin, because Odin's special ability, for those who don't remember or don't know, when you launch the special, it says that for three turns, any type of orb or attack boost that gets activated from a free spirit or a slasher character gets buffed by 0.25, meaning that when you actually use Toki's special, when the buff gets activated to your characters, instead of giving the characters a 3.5 times attack and all boost, it does become a 3.75 times attack and all boosting effect. So that's going to be interesting to see if that plays any part into using him with, with Toki, using those two in tandem together to ensure that you get huge buffs. And also the fact that um, Odin can actually proc his super class special with Toki as a crewmate because of Momonosuke and Hiyori, which can grant additional statistics to the slasher characters as well. So it actually is a pretty interesting combination of characters and uh, I mean like Odin has a pretty okay special so I mean that's not bad I mean also the fact that um, Odin provides a color affinity boost which is actually kind of cool um, though I think the color affinity only lasts for two turns or up to one turn so might not be the best depending on the situation but if you're able to get a color affinity boost get Toki active there's just a lot of things to look forward to in the future and uh, you know Toki just stay winning she's literally one of the best characters in the game and she just makes all of these teams possible and she's just so good not only in regular Kizuna but in Super Boss Kizuna as well just such a phenomenal character but I think with all of that being said we're going to wrap up this video today so thank you very much for watching and if you guys did enjoy this One Piece Treasure Cruise video make sure to go ahead and hit the like button and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post on my channel including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys I'll see you guys within the next video
no. Yeah. 